of this church have opened so wide in Vienna here. Now we see Cardinal Christoph Schönborn coming. And he will speak a few words to us. He says, Father Jesus Maria, which is praise be Jesus and Mary. Praise be Jesus Christ in German. Dear Maria, dear Ivan, thank you first of all that you came. Thank you that you came again. Thank you for your service across so many years. For your work or your service of being the messengers of the gospel. You to give us to bring us children of this world, children of humanity, her love and her presence. And may God pay you back a hundredfold for what you're doing tirelessly. I wish, before we go to adoration, I wish to tell you three things which are very deep in my heart, very shortly. First, if I think back into the beginning of the prayer community here in Vienna, in the beginning of the, 19, of the 80s, in the very beginning, in the Dominican church, I am Dominican, I remember how we were surprised that every Thursday the church was full. We were not used to that. And and that people were praying for hours, and there was confession, there was rosary, but you see, this is nearly 30 years ago, and the astonishing thing is, and that I must see, I, I may see, I, I can see tonight, you have never stopped to pray. That is not an evidence. That is not normal, and that shows that you. And and that shows that what a lady always says in the end of her message, thank you for having responded to my call, I can only repeat thank you for having heard her until today. And thank you for continuing to listen to her. The second is our beloved icon of Maria Poch. Maria Poch, it's in Eastern Hungary, and I was there for the jubilee of the pilgrimage place. The original is here. The, co the copy is in Maria Poch. It's an icon through which the Mother of God has shown her closeness through the miracle of tears. 1697, there was the big miracle of tears because the icon cried for many days. Why did she cry? She cried about the suffering of the people. But I believe mainly because she suffers with us, she compassionate, because she is really the mother of all of us. And her tears have her tears have guided many, many people back to faith, deeper into faith. And if you look every day, there are thousands of candles burning in front of her picture here in the dome of St. Stephen. I want to indicate something to you, which is a speciality of this icon. We call this icon the Hobby Gitria, meaning the indicator of the path. It is Mary showing with her, indicating Jesus with her hand. She shows us the way.
She shows us Jesus, who said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. She shows us Jesus. Do what he tells you to do. That's what he said in Cana. Do what he tells you to do. But this icon has something very special. Normally, in the icons of the churches of the East, the Jesus, the baby, the child Jesus, blesses with his hands. And Mary indicates Jesus and Jesus blesses here. And this is very rare. Here there is something else. He indicates his mother. She indicates him. And he indicates her. And on this icon, Jesus does what he does later on the cross. He said, see your mother. Here, there is your mother. See your mother. I believe that this is something very special that we rarely see on icons. It is the love of Jesus for his mother. He shows her to us. And the third is something funny, something amusing. <coughs> I have heard so many witnesses about Medjugorje in these nearly 30 years. One thing I have to tell you, because it's kind of funny, and I believe I'm allowed to do that. I went, I took a train after a visit, my visit to Medjugorje, and I felt this was a little wink of Our Lady. I sat in the train and wanted to be pious and prayed the breviary and a very, um, let's say, voluminous lady sat down next to me. She was really, really fat. <laughs> and I had to really push myself to the side because she left me very little space. And I was slightly annoyed, I must admit. I was not virtuous. Um, and then she began to talk to me. It, I didn't like it at all. Her, she asked me, her father, well, father, where are you, parish priest? I sort of reacted annoyed, in an annoyed way. She was a Roma lady from Bergenland, and I reacted a bit annoyed, and I said, I want to read. And she asked again, hey, father, where are you, parish priest? And again, annoyed, I answered, I am the bishop, bishop of Vienna. And she said, oh yes, I'm sorry, I didn't want to disturb you. And that made me become a bit more friendly. And then she began, out of the sky, she began to say, my husband was in Medjugorje now. I didn't say anything about Medjugorje. She started, my husband was in Medjugorje now. And he climbed onto a hill where there is a cross on top. And he climbed back down. And since he comes back, he is so kind and friendly that he never was in his life before with me. And she said she wants to go to Medjugorje also now. Perhaps she will also be so friendly. <laughs> the Lord is in our midst, truly. Truly, truly. Like in the, in the times in Galilee, in, Ju in, in Jerusalem, so real, the risen Lord, we want to greet him now. And in great gratitude, in great trust, we want to adore him. <laughs> 